Beautiful mornings are still in the upper 60s and low 70s, which helps in terms of being able to get some shots. Now, part of what I'm going to struggle with tonight is that the moon is, well, it's almost full. It's going to be full, I think, in the next two days. So I'm dealing with a moon that's going to be in a most of the nighttime sky. What I want to shoot tonight on this guy, anyways, is M13, the Great Hercules Cluster. And I'm thinking that if I can get a night's yeah, that's pretty good. If I can get um, a good night in of shooting the Hercules cluster, that should probably be okay for me to actually be able to process something. And again, I'm fighting a near full moon. I got maybe two more days before it gets full, and I'm dealing with what that means. And so. That's on, that's been balanced. This is all on, uh, now it's on. This has been balanced. I think it's time to go to the laptop and uh, start working on setting up my sessions. So I'll meet you at my laptop. Okay, so now we're gonna go into Newton, which is my last Mandy G11 and my RC6 scope. I'm going to go ahead and we are going to photograph tonight uh, Hercules M13 cluster. So the first thing I do is I launch my Gemini, which is the controller for the mount, Gemini 2, level 6. connected to Gemini so we're good to go there and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and launch Nina. I've only got one Pegasus Astro component which is um, I want to say it's a Pegasus Astro pocket box. I think it's just a pocket box. It's just a power piece. There's no USB ports. Windows keeps wanting to turn on the firewall and it keeps saying no. So here we are, RC6 um, with the ASI 071 MC Pro camera. So that's the profile I want to load, so I'm going to say yes. And then Nina is going to launch here. Yes, I knew I use nightly versions. You probably shouldn't. You should probably use either the release candidate or the last stable candidate or the last stable release. I like to see what they're doing and to be honest with you, this particular nightly release I haven't had any issues with. So I think it works out just fine. So when I come down here, I'm going to turn on all my devices, which in this case is going to be my camera, my manual filter wheel, my telescope, which is my mount, my focuser. Here is my guide scope, my guiding, weather source. So everything's all connected. We're at 26.4 degrees Celsius, so I'm going to go ahead and at least start this thing cooling. So we've got the switch, the safety monitor, everything's all connected, everything's doing great. We'll go ahead and we'll start cooling the camera down. Now, I can go into the Sky Atlas here and show you what it is I'm going to be shooting. It's going to be M13. So I'll go ahead and search on that. There we are at the Great Hercules Cluster. 
go ahead and just set this thing for framing so you can see it. So there we are. That's the Hercules cluster. And that's what I'm going to be photographing tonight. I've already got, because I went in here and I already preset all this up, I've already got a sequence created for this thing. I created it a couple days ago, I think. If I can find it, I guess I don't have it. Okay. All right. I guess I didn't save it. All right, so go back here. So we're going to set this thing for framing assistant. And here we are on the framing assistant. And what I'm going to do, I've already got this thing saved out. I must have this thing already saved out. Uh, if I go here to target, so I got M13. Maybe I don't. I don't. for sure that I had this thing all set up, but I guess I don't. So framing wizards, so here we are with the M13. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add this thing to the target list, and I'm going to go to one shot color. So there we go, M13 has been created as a target. So I can go over here to the advanced sequencer, and I'm going to go to my templates. Now I'm going to go to my one shot color and drag and drop it and there we are here's the one shot color I'm going to go up here to my targets and there's M13 update target so there we go M13 uh, copy copy oh shoot Copy, paste, there we go. So let me go ahead and save this one. I can't believe I did not save the last one. I had it all set up and I thought I'd saved it, but apparently I didn't. So right now we're right about here. So we're going to be able to get a good night's imaging in. And where are we on the camera? Uh, we're down to 8 degrees and we're at 38 degrees power. Okay, Let's go back to sequencer. So we're getting there, we're, we're cooling down. And da da da. So here's my imaging 60 second. Again, I've got pretty much almost a full moon going on so I'm not so sure how this image is going to turn out but I'm going to go ahead and give it a good try anyways just because the moon is I don't know, about there and the image is over and the object is over here rising to the east so there's enough separation I think that I might be able to get something decent we shall see. So let me go ahead. Where are we with the camera? And we're down to four degrees almost. Four and a half. Okay, we are finally at negative ten. And we're at eighty-one percent. I'm finding that the zero seventy-one tends to have a wider range for cooling. I think it's a negative 40 or, or it's 40 below ambient whereas it's 35 on the other cameras. So now we're going to the sequencer. We're going to go ahead and we're going to kick it off. And of course first thing it's going to do is it's going to slew center. It's not going to rotate. It's just going to slew and center on M13. 
just going to try to see if I can find it. For a sub. Yep, filter is already the uh, Antlia Tripan filter, so we're good. Doing a 30 second exposure so it can plate solve. Hmm. Sub here. Let's wait for it to settle. You can see it right here. Now we're going to be exposing. Oh, there we are. You can see it right there. But there is M13. And we need to do a little bit of slowing, which we just did. Now we're going to expose again to see what the error is. Well, now we're on target or if we're a little bit off. Excuse me for changing positions here. Okay, we are on target, so now we should be doing an autofocus routine. So here we are, it's autofocus. Let's see how well this out of focus routine is. Okay, we went from 2.46 down to 2.4. Okay. So now we're actually starting to image. That's interesting. So let's go to the imaging tab and let's see when our first sub comes in so here was our last sub for um, focusing you can see guiding here we're at 0.55 RMS which is not too bad so here we are here's the first sub there's M13 coming in funny that you would do that. That what? You blinked one eye and raised the other eyebrow. Yeah, I know. Go figure. So here's M13, our first sub, and our guiding is 0 0.52, 0 0.51, so we're good for the night. Okay. And next thing will be the image when it's done. Okay. 